Hello everyone, just a reminder that we are expected to give students the opportunity to um, show their understanding of social studies through short answer writing this first nine weeks. That is our um, scope and sequence for literacy. And we just finished our first short answer question writing assignment in US history. And I was gonna share some of the insights that we came up with. The first thing you're going to want to do is get a copy of the Frisco ISD Social Studies Writing Rubric, and in particular, you're going to want a copy of the part at the top that addresses the short answer writing um, component of the writing rubric, where you're really focusing in on the assertion, the evidence, and the commentary that you expect students to be able to demonstrate as a skill and use their content knowledge to help with that evidence. As a reminder, you can find the FISD writing rubric for social studies on the FISD curriculum canvas page. When you click on courses, make sure you're going to high school courses, and then you can select any of the different teams or uh, subjects that you're teaching this year. Remember, uh, the literacy expectations are not only for core classes, but also elective classes, psych and social, government, econ, U.S., World, World Geography, all of the uh, social studies courses that we are offering do need to follow the FISD scope and sequence for literacy. I'm just going to click on World Geography, and you can find the rubric either under Literacy Resources at the top right, or you can just click on a unit. And once you get into the unit, you can look to see under literacy resources for unit one, physical and regional geography, there's not only going to be a scope and sequence, but you're also going to find the district writing rubric. Now that you have the rubric, you can see assertion, evidence, and commentary for short answer writing is broken down into four scales from advanced all the way to emerging. So the challenge for our team and the thing that we centered our discussions around was how do I take these holistic categories, advanced, proficient, approaching, and emerging, and convert it into a num numerical value or score that can be represented in the gradebook? Some members of our team wanted there to be a discrete grade for each of the four different skill levels, um, averaging in the assertion, evidence, and commentary. Other members of our team wanted there to be a 4-3-2-1 um, scale and that within each range of points, there would be a banded grade. For example, advanced would be a score of 4, proficient 3, approaching 2, and emerging 1. And then you would have a range. Let's say a student earned 4 points for assertion, 3 points for evidence and only two points for commentary. Three and two is five plus four is nine. So that would put them at the top range of an 85, which shows proficiency. To determine which system seemed to be the most appropriate, we began calibrating our understanding of the rubric by finding a few example short answer questions from students. And all three of us sat together in our PLC and graded them uh, using the FISD social studies writing rubric. The calibration process for our team sparked a lot of good conversations and we were able to determine an equitable system that all three of us could agree upon to have a fair assessment of the student's knowledge and skill level. On the FISD Social Studies Curriculum Canvas page, you can also find more examples of norming protocols and calibration ideas to use with your team.